What's up, guys? Oh, wait a minute. I am not Zachary or Shadow Death Boy 93. Hello, beauties and gentle beauties. This is here, and. Well, Zach got himself in quite a spot now, didn't he? Full of guns, no healing items, very little health. But at least he has ammo. So it appears my dear boy Zach has gotten stuck. So, he sent me his save file, and I am here to save his butthole from his own stupidity. So, I guess my plan here, and this is this is his own save file, by the way, as you can see, if you watched this last part, this is indeed his stuff. So, what I'm gonna be- there's a telephone number! Hold on. That's fine. Way to go, telephone. So, I'm going to be doing this part for him, because he's an idiot. Because, well, I have a fairly good knowledge of this game, and I imagine that I can do this for him. So, here we go. Now, if you have uh, watched my playthrough of this, which is, uh, eh, <laughs> I need to redo it, I'll say that much. It's definitely not that good compared to my other stuff. I will be doing that eventually. Um, so, this is the part in the game where you're inside the college, or the school, whatever you want to call it. Uh, at this point, you're supposed to be getting the fuse for the, uh, the train. And Zack lost all of his health from parkour because he's a complete mongatron. So, Zacky boy, considering there is only... We have to drop one of these things. So, I'm gonna go ahead and check your ammunition. Oh, you only have three bullets. Might as well reload that. Yep. Hunting rifle, you've, all, you've got four. Shotgun, you have four. And your Glock, you have four. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drop your nightstick because you, you really do not need a melee weapon at this point in the game. And in fact, you're probably gonna have to get rid of one of these guns so you have room for a healing item, Zachary. Because I hope you know that healing items are very important in Cry of Fear. So we have the what is this? The screwdriver. Yes, that's right. I no, forgive me. I haven't played this game in a long, long time, so. I probably, I will probably die, and if I do so, well, you'll just get a sped up montage, I suppose, because that'll be the best way to edit this instead of uh, trying to, yeah, you get the idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I think we're going to use the VP70, that might be the best bet to use. And hopefully this doesn't set, reset the, the binds, because sometimes, yep, sometimes it does. I keep hearing something change in the sound. Papyrus changed name to Metaton EX. Oh. <laughs> because that's right, because it's his save file and it has his data. Why? Right, well, here we go, darlings. <laughs> yep, that's one enemy down. M I might actually have to concentrate a little bit here because, yeah, this is mildly difficult. Sometimes an enemy spawns behind you there. Hence why I'm checking every now and then. Look at that. Now, there's only a few rounds left in this, so I'm going to do the smart thing and pre-reload, which I know it might seem stupid to do because there's three rounds left, but trust me, you don't want to get caught with your pants down, especially when you're dual wielding. Trust me on that. You do not want to be. Oh, hi there. Zach, my darling, this is not hard. Oh, you're such a stinker, Zachary. This is not hard at all. Come on, buddy boy. Oh, hi. Zach, darling, my best bet for you would be to, uh, drop the VP70. I think that's gonna be my advice to you. In fact, I'm going to drop it for you, so. Oh, hello. Ah, yes, right, we need to grab the key. That's right, I forgot. So this little segment is uh, the only time I'm probably gonna appear on this channel unless he gets stuck in another game that I own. So, hi! If you haven't seen my stuff before, I am mostly in his multiplayer content, which I imagine you've seen before. So, if you want to see my own content, which, well, I have quite a bit of, you can check out my channel, which should be on his own in the uh, description. So check it out if you like similar content to his. 
Please, darlings. I'm not begging. I'm just asking you. Alright, now then. Classroom key. You take this classroom key, you go back through this door. And with this classroom key, you're gonna be going back into that classroom that we saw that was locked, not that direction. Going to be down here. Now, I think my plan is I'm gonna go keep going on this until I, I get dear old Zack a health, a healing item. So, in fact, that's what we're gonna do. Now, this guy. Go ahead and open this up. Go inside the room. We're gonna need to turn to the left and kill this guy. See? Not that bad. I'm gonna run over here. Break that glass with the fire exit key. There's only two rounds left in this, so here's what you're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the VP70. We're gonna leave through here. Run down here. Now, there should be no more enemy spawns, but if there is one, don't get too uh, spooked. You can handle it, I imagine. Come on, get going. There we go, all right. Unlock the door, and there we go. Ah, here we are. All right, so, that was the main difficult part done, but now, Zack still needs a healing item. So, in this case, I'm going to be our little guide for the time being. Until we get a healing item for our dear old Zack, we are, uh, yeah, there we go. Quit whining, darling. So since we have the fuse, we need to go back to Saxon Avenue. So that is where we're going to be going. And that is not a hard trip. I wonder if Zack dropped anything back here. Wouldn't hurt to check. Did he drop anything? No, he did not. He probably just took the VP70 and ran with it. Now, as you can see, I never got to this low amount of health in my own personal playthrough of Cry Fear, but as you can see, when you get to this low amount of health, Simon starts having issues trying to walk, so aiming and shooting become very difficult. So just don't get to this low amount of health like Zack did, which apparently he did from doing parkour. Um, in that area over there, which guess what? It's not that hard. Zach, you're just making it hard. I don't have much else to say here other than this is just a casual stroll back to where Zach needs to go. You're welcome for the extra help, darling. Dawson. Oh, wait a minute. Dawson Barrels. This music's nice here, I will admit. It's one of the things I believe I said in my Craft Your Playthrough that the soundtrack to this game is pretty good. That's what I thought. Oh, would you look at that? A healing item. Well, Zach, my darling, you are quite welcome for the health. Now, just for the love of Lord, save an open spot for health. Now, next save point I get to, I'm going to be getting off of Zack's channel so he can continue to play through. It is his playthrough after all, not mine. So, there you go. In fact, we're actually going to use a little something here called a shotgun rain for this little buddy boy. Gotcha, buddy. Yep. Go back through here. And, oh, would you look at that. Now, then. Thank you so much for watching my little part of this, and I believe Zach is gonna take take uh take the rest of this. I think he I think he's got it, unless uh, he somehow messes this up. But anyways, yes, if you would like to watch more of my content, if you like what you just saw for a little bit, you know anything, I have my own channel, which is single player and multiplayer content, also featuring Zach. I know I am being a little turnball and promoting my channel, but hey, I did the part. You're welcome. Anyways, take it away, Zach, darling, and goodbye, darlings. Yeah.